this is Jody Sosna with Be Home Solutions. I'm here with Mike Moulton, also of Be Home Solutions. And this is video number three in our 20 video series. Uh, we're addressing home buyer concerns, specifically uh, to buy home, homes that are distressed properties or in foreclosure or short sale process. Mike, we're getting a ton of questions uh, from the internet, people calling in, just trying to find out um, basic information about going forward with the purchase of a foreclosure home. And what we're finding a lot is that people want to know where they can find a great deal on a foreclosed home, and how do they know that they're getting a good deal on a foreclosure? Yeah, it's a great question, Jody, because, you know, just because it is a, it has the tagline foreclosure, uh, what we're seeing is people are calling in um, and saying, hey, listen, I just saw it on the WallStreetJournal.com, or I just started CharlotteObserver.com, that there's so many foreclosures and banks are letting them go at a dollar a piece, you know, I, I need to get a foreclosure. But really, there are great deals in short sales, foreclosures, whatever, uh, bank-owned properties, whatever you uh -huh. want. But you really got to know, it comes down to what you're willing to pay and what you're buying with anything. Because what's happening, and unfortunately for the neighbors of these foreclosed homes, uh, they're having to lower their prices to compete with, with the market. So, you know, the sad part is when there's a short sale or a bank-owned property on the market, the neighbors, they are selling quicker, um, but they're not always the best deal. Uh, you know, some of these houses have been neglected and there's a lot of work that needs to be done. Um, and, you know, some people, some buyers, when they're going to look for a home, they're not the handy, handy person type and they're not going to put the time nor money into them or they just don't have the vision to see it. So I like to tell folks, you know, if you're looking for a, a step, like if you go into a model home and you see it's uh, 300000 and then you come over to this one and it's and it's 230 but it needs a lot of work, we are seeing people actually taking the model home because they're not, they don't have the vision for it. Right, right. So it's not always the best deal, but um, I think it comes down to, you know, looking at the sole comps in the area and seeing what, really what the market is um, in any neighborhood because you might be able to find a deal that's not a foreclosure as well. And it's like the, the old adage, uh, if it's too good to be true, it probably is too good to be true. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly, exactly. I mean, there's, and don't get me wrong, there's killer deals out there right now. But you just have to have the uh, you know wherewithal to be able to put it together into the home you want. You know? So basically, the advice is having the correct information on the property before you go into making an offer, understanding what you're getting into, right, right and knowing exactly. then uh, what what's selling in the in the neighborhood, comparable properties, yeah. and um, then compare what you're going to pay for it. To determine if the price is going to be somewhere where it's going to be a good deal for you. Exactly, exactly. And you know, the other general stigmatism out there, or stigma, not a stigmatism. That's in your eye. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll forget that. Well, yeah, the, the stigma out there is, you know, you just, the foreclosed property isn't always the best deal. So the, the, the right. banks, the banks aren't going to, um, they're not going to just discount 75% all the time. I mean, it might be that one situation where they will. So, you know, everyone wants to come in and make an offer 90% off, but it's it's just not that realistic because we're pretty much at the bottom of the real estate market right now. Doing your homework, I guess, is the answer. Doing your homework and getting getting a professional to help you out way through, way through what's real and what's not. Right, right, exactly. Yep. Well, thanks, Mike. Thanks for the answer. Again, it's Jody at Be Home Solutions. It's Mike Moulton, also at Be Home Solutions, in video three of our 20 video series. Stay tuned. We'll be back.